Uh, good morning and good afternoon. Mm. Good afternoon, everybody. Good morning. So, I have nothing new. I've, I've just kept some photos and um, the collection of memories to show you to show you all. So, it is again the story of happiness of my life. It's probably the phases of my, my life. I will just indicate it. So, um, 13th of January, push 29. Uh, the small boy was born, and he is of 19 years old today. That's my mom and dad uh, with the Christmas tree on there, and that's my dad with a kid. Me, I think I was about three or four years old at that age. Um, when I was when I was born, I was born um, seven months or eight months. So I had some medical disorders. Um, my heart was not pumping well. Um, and they kept me in medications for two months, as I said before. Um, I was with the medications with all the required uh, instruments and facilitated doctors because I was born a bit earlier um, than actual nine months. I was not um, developed well as a fetus. Um, so, um, when I was a year older, um, my dad was in Saudi. He belongs to a um, background of photo management. Um, he was a uh, food and beverage service manager at the beginning of his career. Now he is a Frontex um, manager because of his poor fit. So when he was in Saudi Arabia, he used to work in Hotel of a King there. So he had a little bike and the area was massive. So when, when he was riding his bike, um, he faced an accident. Uh, it was from a trolley. So, for the two months he was chained. Um, he was in the hospital, and we had no notice. I was, I was, I was kid. I was beyond understanding things. I couldn't even talk nicely at that age. Um, that's my dad's leg. Um, he doesn't allow me to take photos and everything, but that was a cheeky photo. I clicked him. Um, he does not have a heel. He doesn't have a heel. Uh, the, um, the ankle, the ankle does not work. He walks with the three my dear. Dig the knife. He walks with. He walks with. He walks with his front leg, and um, it hurts sometimes. But um, he was chained and he was hospitalized for, uh, for three or four months. And my mom knew after uh, he came to Nepal. So how devastating was that? He barely walks now. Um, he can't ride, he can't drive, he can't do anything. He just can uh, walk a single way. So that's very uh, hard for him to walk. And um, the poor roads and the condition of Nepal is even disastrous for him. Because he needs he need a proper black topped um, path to for his feet because it's favorable for his uh, ankle and heel so moving forward um, as I said I was I was fortunate fortunate enough to see my dad alive and probably I'm fortunate enough to be here and um, to be a part of my family because um, they had no hopes of me being alive and I had no hope of I don't know where, where that went but I'm, I'm very fortunate to see my dad and the condition he's in now and the condition where my family is, I'm more than proud of my family because that's immense, immense success he has achieved in his life without a proper feat. And um, he, I, I, I told you before, he used to work in Hotel Tibet in, uh, from the starting, starting of Hotel Tibet in Lazimbad before. Um, that's a funny story. Um, the Australian family, Angwin Brensley and Russell Brensley. We have a whole lot of family there. And um, they used to stay in Bandition. They forgot the way, so they came in Hotel Tibet for the dinner. And so the, it was a vacation of Dossay and it was vacation. So there was no staffs. It was just my dad handling the hotel. So he went there, he asked the order, and they loved, they loved the way he um, accompanied them because uh, he has been he has been mashed towards to Salbekuat, uh, Aurelini, and everything because 
he started from the lower level uh, of his career. So, Zanu um, Boyo, and he talked well, so they probably liked the way he approached um, uh, them and the way he talked to them, soft and norm. So, um, so, they have been a vital, vital importance in my life. They play a vital uh, importance in my life. When I was a kid, more uh, past boss the the first time I made them, uh, Dad um, brought them to our house when uh, we were living in a rent, and it was just a, it was just a, um, it was just a room, and we had a kitchen outside of uh, outside of the room, and that was even I was happy at that moment. So, well, to the boy, I I have a silly habit of um, I, I called Ama, and I love her. Immense. Ani, I used to hold her hand. I used to cuddle her every time. Ani, uh, that's a funny story. Um, she came last year. Ani, um, I didn't hold her hand because I have just grown up. Ani, she told me that, uh, and we were walking on the streets of Tamil at night, and I just cuddled her. Ani, this was she made some magic. Ani, what she told me is, you know what, Nipesh, one no boy, no one, and this was she. You make me remind of your childhood, one no boy. And every I I asked the video with um, Pa because he had uh, some video of our first home, our first med but he couldn't send me because he is in Saudi Arabia. He's teaching uh, uh, mechanical uh, for the students. So um, Ani, you know what Nipesh Malai Timno Chairi I was just used to cuddle her. Ani, my um, um, They used to stay here for months and months. Ani Tespachi. Um, Every time I meet her, I used to call her Afti Mazale. And this was she, sometimes I used not do it, uh, I did not do it. And he, what do you want to say? Nothing, nothing. And he called me idiot. And that's, that's small things in life that really matters one of course ago. Because um, if you love someone, you got to show the effort. Because effort is beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. And um, yeah, they, are, they are the reason I'm here today. And without them, I wouldn't be the new person I am. And yes, so um, they play a really, really important part in my life. I mean, they're angels in person. So that's where I went. Um, I faced a lot in life. Um, I was not born uh, with the order on this, but she, I'm fortunate enough to see my dad. So that phase of my that phase of my life is called uh, suffering. Even when I was a kid, I, fa I faced a lot of. Um, hustles and hurdles in life because uh, I've seen my uh, family struggle for survival and that has made me um, that amazed me made me more um, mature than um, anyone I suppose because if you have seen your family struggle for survival for 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 food then you have no imagine you, you can you can imagine that you have seen a lot in life so um, Merilagi Sati one ago, so the important thing. From from childhood more I'm a person that is surrounded with friends. Not friends, but limited amount of friends. Ani um, as I told you before, um, I had some friends, I had some complications in life. Ani this but she I was in a relation and that was amazing. Um, probably she was one of the best person I've met in my life. Ani um, and he said that you're not destined to be together and you're not destined to be together and you can't force your destiny. No matter what timeline changes, you can't force anyone to love you. Um, it's just nature and just hurt that um, appreciates you, that loves you from the inner you. So, um, yes, I was, uh, I was a bit... Um, I use Nepali word. I was past a year, probably. I mean, um, the person you have set the future with, because I'm, I'm not the one that uh, looks after future, I'm just focused on a certain period of time that is today. Um, you never know tomorrow, because in every phase of life you meet different peoples that comfort you, that you love. Um, I'm not here to replace anyone, I'm not here to love you as anyone, anyone will do it, but if you're with me, I don't know for how, how, how long, and koti time some also, but um, I'm gonna love you with all my heart as long as I can and as hard as I can. So, um, so that was a phase of my life, and that phase of my life I would like to name it a learning phase. Um, more, 
I, I would lock myself in a room, a room I locked Garthe, and I used, I used to think the beautiful time we had. I mean, um, I had certain things to develop. Australia tried on a lot. I had, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to go to Australia, pursue my bachelor's there, and start my career there. So um, everything was focused, everything was going online, and uh, certainly life happened. Everything happened within a second. I couldn't think of uh, what's right and what's wrong. What, what was wrong? I mean, um, this was he, I used to lock myself in a room. I used to write. I love writing. And you know, whatever I write, I used to write. And whatever I write, I write, I write, I write, I write, I write, and whatever I write, and it sounds beautiful. At least for me. I used to write, I was, I was changing myself. I was forcefully changing myself that um, I'm not gonna be with anyone. Uh, ni, there no, there's no one. But, um, um, I went to Global College of Management, and I did not know why I went there because I wanted to do um, A levels at the first place. Ani moyle admission gorna zanla the Nami College ma. Ani suddenly ki strike boy bande ki mere sabse saathi aru Ramayil gor raha tha mau ki na porna zani asta boy ke. Ani ma Global na plus two join gare. I mean, that was one of the most important part of my life too because I met uh, many people today and one of them is in front of you. He's my brother. I love him. He's not my friend. Miro Tati Ota is my brother. He's been with me in every phase of life. I mean, I love you a lot. Um, probably my family members, because I'm myself, I'm my dad, and my friends that matter in my life, I damn care about my family. Uh, all the family members because uh, whenever you need someone rather than your family and I face that I face that a lot in life I have a sister uh, she's my cousin, but um, she's also my uh, best friend because I share everything to her. I mean, she's in Australia now. I mean, she wanted me to come there after all the things happened. I mean, she wanted me to come there. Can I give you even a clue? So I mean, she was so happy that I was coming. So um, I changed my plans. I um, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back because um, so keep at one because they two are not together now. Right? It's been. Probably 30 or 40 years they have been married. They have children. They have three daughters. They have one uh, one son. Everyone married. They have grandchildren. Ani ki boy one day ki. Bahadur is Russell Brensley, and um, that's his wife. Ani he changed his path in life. Ani the person that supported in uh, in his life. Zaba koi thena ani when he was suffering from illness. He was about. 180 kilos, and he has um, the world record of climbing Everest, the most uh, heaviest man. And he was very ill. And he, um, the, the place where he used to work, he was very uh, um, bad treated. And he was no near, no near to be uh, survived. And everyone was there, every family was there, and I'm always there especially. And he, they're not together now. The main reason I did not went to Australia because um, uh, I did my IELTS and I was about to apply it. And so by um, confirmation, confirmation later, and this was she so by approval later, so by I said get you. And she called me uh, one day. I was sleeping and made a phone buzz. You and this was she. I called her and in English one, Runu boy. Yeah, also, and also, and yes, one. And the ban me are not together now. One ban and I not together now. One when I was shocked yeah, because they had so nice relationship. Because there are a few reasons that I believe in love still. And um, I honestly think that this generation has. I'm not pointing someone, but um, this generation has some issues because we're not taught to love this way. No, we are. We're taught to be dedicated. We're taught to solve problems. Uh, there should be 110 commitment. If I give you 110 percent commitment in any relationship, I want the 110 percent relation commitment back because I'm not the one um, going to try single-handedly. So I have emotions. I've hurt, and I belong to that 90s part where people used to respect emotions and love each other with all the uh, passion they have. And I find it uh, your generation song. Let's say I don't know if you have someone waiting in the home um, that um, wants your kiss. I don't know how you can rest your lip on someone else outside. I still don't know how, because that's a dilemma.
I mean, if your heart is with someone else, how you can be with someone else, how you can flirt with someone else, because we know where the friend zone is and where the flirting zone is and everything. So that's a big issue with the generation. And and they're together with uh, probably from 15, 16, 30 years, and he, he found a girl in Saudi. I know, he found a girl, and that's what she, he wanted to settle with her. But she was a prostitute. She was a prostitute. And I called him, I personally called him, and he, I told everything I had because I couldn't see Emma crying with me. And she was not crying because he left him, because she was crying because I was not going to Australia, because she wanted me. Uh, since uh, my schooling, my like, school bora, I, I told her I'm completing my um, plus two, so I want I want to come after that. They were like schooling for a long, long back too, and she was alone in the house. And he, she was she was very sad because she couldn't have me there. And he, I called him, I told him everything, and he, what he told me was, um, Nupesh, it's not anyone's fault. It's my heart. And he, it's my heart that wants to be with her one more again. And he, I told I told him, I directly told him. I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but she's crying there. You've been, part of my language, you've been with her for years and years. You've seen all the struggles, and how can your heart belong to someone else? I told him, and he caught the phone, and he talks to me. He talks to me usually, but um, he, went to how, he went to Australia for visa increase, increase in last, uh, last week, and they did not meet because um, foreigners are just humans. They, they, uh, probably uh, break up, divorces, huh? I mean, they meet each other, I know, but she was hurt, she was really hurt, she still talks to me, sometimes she calls me, I need to switch, how are you, with the time, I'm, with the time, with the time I'm going to heal, uh, with the time I'm going to heal, so, um, that's how I came to National College, and I find, I don't know how I am, I don't know how I am, I don't probably, this destiny in every people's life. So I met Saki here. Uh, she is my heart, so she is my best friend. Um, she, is, she has seen me in every phase, and I've told her every story. Uh, the, uh, probably, I just want to say that I love you. I love you both. I love you both, and you two are the most important uh, people in my life currently. And um, I don't know about the future, but you both are my heart. So that's all I want to say. I mean, there's uh, <laughs> I fall in love with dogs more than people. I mean, I love puppies. I love dogs. I mean, I want I want to print a T-shirt uh, with with this one. I mean, there are few things I learned with dogs. That is, um, I wouldn't tell that amle kukulai pal deno ga kukulai amle pal sa ostalak sa ga because they teach you to love un unconditionally. No matter Timro Maya Gorni Manchili Tim like the time Dira go, you know, but but in need Timmy Tin Chad did auto or but the moment you step your leg on the gate, it comes jumping around you. And so is the love it, it has with all the passion. So Teoda Kura Boyo, it teaches you that small things in life matters a lot. Kinaki um it belongs to the case sometimes. Ani belka belka koi leke walk ma log ni bata. It becomes so happy. To change your skirti ma, but to san san pura matter gorsa life ma wana in the culture. So dogs are a really important part of my life. Um, I, I even have a dream to open an orphanage for dogs from years and years, but I don't know if I'm gonna succeed it or not. Ani at last, I would like to say happiness is a choice. So I've only could improvised uh, this session because I, I told you all the uh, pains and betrayals I had to point out the session. Na? Two minutes. I mean, I had um, uh, two minutes. I mean, this much. Um, so I've learned to to smile in every phase of my life. I've seen my parents struggle. I've I've been with friends uh, that I, that I thought I'm gonna be with forever. I've been with um, a girl that I thought that's gonna be my fiance and that's gonna be my wife. Uh, so. I've been that phase, and I'm in the phase now where where I think I've got the best part of me. Only happiness is a choice. More, keep on trying. I just um, I don't focus to the big bigger parts of life because I don't think about tomorrow. My eyes are left for us for no more like so. I mean, as I told, I give 110 percent for the people I love. I mean, um, I respect the efforts. And to sana sana kudans, and wishing for peoples in 12 o'clock in birthdays, that matters a lot. And especially, mommy ko birthday na kana banay dini, mommy boss ni wan ni. That that matters in life. And especially when you got the first salary, I got the first salary. I bought 
um, my, I brought some things to my mom and dad. So at that moment, my dad cried because he's a bit emotional. He's he's emotional as I am. And he, this was, he's not good in showing it, but um, get this kind of And he, my mom, mommy, mommy, just to like I'm like, didi, just to like so. So I just. Um, uh, so I just want to tell you that uh, rather focusing in bigger bigger parts of life, try to focus in smaller parts of life because the sano sano moment matter going up on it. The life ma kira kira the very moment. Ani that's why I learned from my life. Ani no matter how um, life punches you, just smile back, smile back and say that I'll, I'm I'm gonna accomplish it. Ani if people leave, let them leave. Just smile back. Adios. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Any questions?